twin flames are the elite when it comes to soul connections the top of the tops the cherry on the icing right it's the best to be a twin flame means that you are better than others that you are chosen you belong to the chosen kind the special 144,000. you are unique and you are better than others that is why it is so important to attract a twin flame why would anyone want to attract a soulmate when you can attract a twin flame because we all know twin flames are the purest kind of love there is out there right there is nothing Nothing bigger than twin flame love. I kind of disagree. <laughs> of course, the twin flame connection is felt as the most intense connection. But other connections can be quite intense as well. Karmic connections can be crazy intense. And if you have been through a karmic connection and then dealt with a twin flame, you see that there is a major difference, even though the karmic is like the biggest you've ever had. But when you don't know that there is even more intensity out there in a different way, then of course it is so easy to confuse them or confuse twin flames with other kind of divine counterparts. That is why I do have that video different times types of divine counterparts. I know it's a long video but I go in depth because it's so important to understand that there are different types of divine counterparts. But this video is about our twin flames the elite. To me, different kind of divine counterparts, they're different templates, they're different experiences. I would like to use this metaphor. When you buy a new computer, you get to choose. Do I want Windows or do I want an Apple or what else is there? Linux? I'm not an expert on that. And then maybe you get to the sites when you want to, let's say you decide you want a Windows computer, you get to decide, well, I'm a gamer, so it is important for me to have, I don't know, a lot of speeds like a lot of memory i don't know <laughs> maybe you are like a photographer or somebody who does movies and you need a lot of storage then you buy a computer that has that you know you can buy a computer that fits your needs when it comes to the hardware but then there is also software and what do we do in life it's similar to a computer so you buy a computer and what do you do sometimes you upgrade right there is a new computer system i'm sorry if i don't know all the right terminology but <laughs> you understand what i mean and then there's different programs and sometimes you upgrade a program sometimes you delete a program you don't like anymore or you download a new program or you exchange in program you say okay i don't want this program anymore that does i don't know for pictures i now want another program for pictures and then you can switch that and that is basically our life we can delete programs you know like old patterns old behaviors we can upgrade by meditating by doing our affirmations we can upgrade the entire system you know, there is a lot that you can do. So I think this metaphor with buying a computer is pretty good in order to understand. But some things are determined before you buy that computer. Some things are determined before you come to this earth. Your soul shows like a blueprint. And if you are a twin flame or not, depends on what your soul shows prior to this. If you chose to be a twin flame, well, then maybe that could be a MacBook. And if you chose to be in a different kind of divine counterpart, let's say a soulmate, there's more divine counterpart connections than there's softwares, I believe, not softwares, but programs, you know, I just name three, Windows, Apple, and Linux. I don't know if there's any more, but there's more divine counterparts. But I just say twin flame versus soulmate. So twin flame would be the MacBook and soulmate would be the PC, Windows. That is something your soul chose prior to coming to this earth. I mean, that doesn't mean that there are timelines in which you would meet the twin flame by the MacBook <laughs> and others where you don't. It really depends on what your soul shows and also on your progress. But what I say when I mean blueprint. So yeah, you have either the Windows or the MacBook and that is installed with their programs. By blueprint, I mean we have different types of divine counterpart. A soulmate can have so many different forms. First of all, a soulmate is not necessarily romantic. Soulmates, we do have many, we do have plenty and pretty much every person that has an impact in your life is a soulmate and impact doesn't even have to be a good thing 
every person mirrors you as Neville Goddard said everyone is you pushed out that is your twin flame but everybody else you meet as well is a projection of what is inside you so yes soulmates they can come with karma however karma is nothing so much connected to the other person because they are your mirror they come to show you something and it doesn't need a twin flame to mirror you everybody can mirror you and that is one of the reasons why people often confuse twin flame with other connections because everyone can mirror you and if you have fears of abandonment then you will attract somebody who is not available as i always say if you have like the anxious attachment style due to some kind of childhood trauma you most likely attract somebody in the avoidant attachment style and they don't even have to be a twin flame and you still have this running chasing dynamic there is more to that blueprint of a twin flame but i want to get back to the elite yes a twin flame has the template to help you heal and ascend or awaking and the monadic twin flame is even more the ascension journey i mean you ascend with the split twin but even more so with the monadic twin flame that is something that your soul shows yes it is a very intense connection but it's not the only kind of divine counterpart it's not the only kind of love and that is what sometimes i have to say angers me in twin flame groups when people ask can i turn this karmic into a twin flame no if they're not a twin flame you cannot turn them into your twin flame you cannot turn your dog into a cat when all of a sudden you realize you would ra much rather have a cat that is not going to happen but you still can turn them into your twin love i do have a video of that in the twin flame 101 playlist how to turn a karmic into a life partner once you do the shadow work so it's just a different journey not every soul chose to go through this major ascension and honestly it is a process that can take years even if you do the work if you have deep-rooted trauma it can take years in order to clear that but to say oh i want a twin flame because that is true love and that's the problem many people see running and chasing and automatically you know they see something really toxic and label it a twin flame just because of running and chasing when i tell you and again i've talked to thousands of people i've been doing this job for 17 years in every soul connection you can have running and chasing if you have unhealed fear of abandonment or the anxious attachment style you cannot attract somebody in a healthy attachment style if you are not a match to healthy attachment style. So belittling the sacred connection, a twin flame connection, oh, they're my twin flame because they're running and chasing and they're ghosting me, that in itself is a highly toxic thing to say because there's unfortunately so much stigma connected to the twin flame label that people who think, oh, running and chasing equal twin flame and then they read oh my god other half of my soul and i never get out that by itself can manifest them you know law of assumption to stay stuck in toxic connection for years and sometimes decades that is why it is so unhealthy to belittle a twin flame and running and chasing because it's not about the running and chasing so much it is more about actually doing the shadow work of purging you can recognize a true twin flame when they come into your life and everything changes all of a sudden you start to think about your job do i love my job oh no i hate that job but wait my person is mirroring me my self-love do i love myself when i go to a job every day for eight hours that i hate well that can't be self-love then of course they cannot come you know you start to think about things like that or it doesn't even have to be that train of thought you may just realize no i don't want to do this job anymore i actually wanted to do something else but i didn't dare to because everybody told me oh it's hard to get into that job or it was my own fears that i would not make it in that job but when your twin flame comes all of a sudden you think about that and then you start working on getting to the job you want you realize oh that friend i have well i'm just dragging them along because i've been friends for them for forever but we don't even resonate anymore they're always pulling me down and that happened for years maybe it's better to end that friendship things like that happen when a true twin flame or a divine counterpart could be another kind of strong strong soul connection enters your life your life changes and you start changing that is how you recognize a twin flame not because they're ghosting you sorry that's rambling about it but that had to get out because it's toxic it's toxic to just think it's a twin flame because of ghosting divine counterparts as sacred connections and not just twin flame any kind of divine counterpart because divine counterpart 
It's not toxic counterpart. It is not distorted counterpart. It's a divine counterpart. But another thing that upsets me is that people seem to use twin flames synonymously with true love. Yes, twin flames are true love. They are your perfect match. They are your counterpart that is supposed to come into your life to push you forward. And again, not every soul chose that. Some souls chose not to come here with this spiritual major ascension. They came here to experience a loving relationship. Those people would not attract a twin flame. They would attract maybe a soul twin or a soulmate that and still experience true love, long lasting, everlasting true love. And that can totally happen. Not every true love is a twin flame. And using that synonymously now in those twin flame groups, there are so many people, oh, I want to meet my twin flame. Where is my twin flame? I'm already thinking, why do you want to attract a twin flame? If you meet your twin flame, you have years of working on yourself ahead of you. <laughs> Doing shadow work and looking at every shadow ever. It's like taking something apart and cleaning it on the inside and then putting it together new. It takes time. Why not just try to manifest true love and ditch the label. The label is not important. So no, you don't have to try to manifest a twin flame if you want to manifest true love because the secret is no soul connection is better than another. There is no elite. It is just preference of your soul. Did your soul choose to get the MacBook or the Windows? It is what your soul wanted to experience. It is what your stream of consciousness wanted to experience. This is what you get, you know, what matches not what your ego wants, but what your higher part of you wants. So there's so much spiritual ego BS going on, trying to belittle other kind of soul connections. I'm a twin flame as well. I know about that journey. I know about the intensity of the connection. But imagine there, you see this old couple walking in a park and they're like 80 years old and they have been together for like 55 years and they have been best friends and they went through everything in life. They had children, maybe they had tragedy, like losing a child. They shared a house, a home together. Maybe one of them was sick and the other person was there and they stuck it out and they always choose one another and they're still in love. Are you seriously trying to tell me that your love is worth more or it's better because you are a twin flame or you think you are a twin flame? And they're not. If they're maybe their souls didn't want to go through this major ascension journey, maybe they just met, fell in love, became lovers and best friends, and now they have children, they have grandchildren, they have been through 55 years of love together and shared everything together. Doesn't that mean anything? Is that less, honestly, is that less than a twin flame connection? It's not less, it's just different. Different does not always mean better. And that's the problem we have in this world. Some people think they're better because of their skin color. Some people think they're better because of what's between their legs. Some people think better because of the way they look. Some people think better because they're younger or older. Some people think they're better because of the gods they pray to and kill in that God's name. That's what's unfortunately going on in this world. And some people think they're better because they're on a twin flame path. But sorry, another truth bomb. You're probably not on a twin flame path because the twin flame path is all about ascension. What is ascension and awakening? It is realizing that we are all connected, that we are all come from the same source, that we are all sparks of the divine, that we are different but not better than others because we are basically only one soul in this entire earth and that one soul split in order to create this living human experience that that person you judge is just part of the same soul in a different body different stream of consciousness because we have this ego because we do realize you know the i am but they're part of you and that is what awakening is about to realize the connection to everything but still see our individuality to see our difference to celebrate our difference but not by belittling others and people who point their finger at others 
and think, oh, they're so bad. I'm better than them because I am a twin flame and they're not a twin flame. That is a huge spiritual ego. And then you are either at the very beginning of your twin flame journey, even if you're on this journey for 10 years, probably not. Because again, a true twin flame has a strong pull to develop. <laughs> so you're either at the very beginning <laughs> or not a twin flame because you just labeled some toxic person that is ghosting you a twin flame because you want to be special and experience the twin flame love and i'm sorry if i'm being harsh but we cannot be connected to everyone and think we're better we're different yes and in some aspects we may be better there's people out there they are better singers than i am i'm not a good singer there's people out there who are better musicians i'm not a musician there's people out there they are better at sports there's people out there that are better at good looking than me there's people out there that are better at math at me which is not that hard <laughs> i know i'm good in some things i know i'm a good coach i know i'm smart there's some things i know i'm very good at but i'm not the best because i cannot be perfect in in everything and no soul came here to be perfect in everything because i always have the image of gears that are like moving together you know you need you are a wheel that is turning and then there's other wheels that are turning and we need all of this to work as a society not every soul can be perfect at everything so there is no better you can be better in certain aspects than the average person but then another person is better than you in another aspect we are different so overall nobody is better and there is no elite twin flames are not an elite it's just a program Coming back to the metaphor of the computer, it's just a program that your soul chose to experience, to install, to run. And it's a very efficient program if your soul wanted to go through the ascension journey. Is it the only kind of ascension? No. I mean, you can be a Buddhist monk and meditate or Eckhart Tolle had, doesn't have a twin flame and he is a very spiritual person. You know, there you don't have to go through the twin flame journey to have awakening. It is a program that can help with that it's not the only valid program even if you awaken through a person it doesn't even have to be a twin flame it could could be a catalyst and even though the twin flame journey is extremely intense who are we to judge and think that our experience is so much better than that 50 year old couple i described earlier who've been through together to all the ups and downs that life has in store it's not better it's just a different journey i hope it resonated <laughs> A lot of ranting, yes. A lot of frustration, I have to admit. Sometimes I get frustrated a little, but I just use this to let it out. <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of connection. Do you love that person? Do your shadow work and make that person your life partner? You can manifest that. If you have that desire to, you can manifest it. But your person is your mirror doesn't matter if they're karmic doesn't matter if they're soulmate doesn't matter if they're a soul twin a mirror soul a split twin flame a monadic twin flame it does not matter your person is your mirror because little secret i do have a video that i recorded on the inner feminine or masculine within us your person always even if they're not a twin flame is nothing but a projection of your own inner feminine or masculine that's it if you want them to change heal that inner masculine or feminine within you bring that inner energy within you into balance and then you will get that projected back if you need help with that you can reach out my contact information is below check out my other content if this helped you a lot and you want to leave a tip my paypal link is below i wish you all the best and I do see you in another video or in personal coaching. Until then, all the best now. Bye-bye.